wanted to go to the cemetery today, but there was too many people. And too many people equal too many questions. That's something you should all remember. Too many people equal too many questions. Which actually brings me to why it's been two weeks since I made a video. I had to go away for a little bit because they said that I was not well. Not well means that I was annoying too many people and scaring too many people. So that's lesson number two. One, too many people equal too many questions. And two, not well just means you're irritating people. But I'm not here to talk about them. I'm here to talk about me and about how I'm well. And I'm well because, because, <laughs> I stopped taking all those nasty pills they were giving me. These are my not well pills. And I just stopped taking them. I'm all better. I'm back. So here I am. <sighs> it's early. There would be less people. But still, too many people in the cemetery. So, I wanted to tell you about Bobby and I going on a trip. <laughs> which, which might sound weird because, oh, well, Bobby's dead. But, once I'm done with the story, it won't sound weird anymore. So, I like to climb out of my window at night and go follow people in the town. It's kind of like my own little study. Like, when do people notice I'm there and when do people not notice I'm there? Sometimes I have to yell BOO before they'll even see me. But other people, all I have to do is hide behind a bush and go... And they can feel me. One day I'm going to get one of those people and study, I mean interview them. I'm going to interview one of those people sometime and see how they can feel me. I think that it's because I'm so powerful. But I'm getting off track again. Darn medicine. I haven't been taking it for a few days, but still, I keep my head fuzzy. So, I crawl out of my window to go and go find people in the town to watch. But I always, always walk through the cemetery first. Because it's really quiet and the stones are really cold. And I wonder why they're so cold. They're way colder than the ground. And I wonder to myself if that's because there's death underneath them. And I think death must be cold. So I go and I sit on the rocks, the stones. And one day when I was sitting there, I was looking around and I was thinking about the dead people. And that got me thinking about Bobby. And I thought about how Bobby, he doesn't have a stone. He didn't. We, I get ahead of myself. He does now. <laughs> but he didn't. And so I felt a little bit bad about that. I mean, he's my best friend. He didn't have a stone. So I thought, well, tomorrow I will go out and I will get him a stone. And I looked at all the other stones and I, I don't see any stones like that anywhere in the woods. So I thought, well, I will just have to find one that has his name on it already. And Bobby is short for Robert. And so I looked around and there were lots of Roberts up there. Lots of them. And I know from movies that 
they bury people six feet under, right? Six feet under, it says. And so I thought, well, that leaves plenty of room for a body, right? So I found a Robert Stone, and I didn't pay much attention to the dates because I would know where my Bobby was. It didn't matter whether the dates were right, but he should have his own name. And so I found a Robert, and I made a plan. <laughs> my plan was that I would get a box, and I would go up the next night, and I would get Bobby, and I would bring him back, and I would put him in the Robert spot. So, I got the box, and I got a shovel, and I got gloves, because this is gross, even for me. And I went to the fort the next night. anticipate was that Bobby was bigger than I remember. It was a lot more to Bobby than I recall. I mean, I expected him to, to look different, but there was more of him there. And so, anyway, I, I couldn't get him all in the box, but I got as much as I could in the box, and then I closed it up, and I sat on it. You know, like, like you do with luggage to get more clothes in. I, I just sat on the box to get more Bobby in. And so I was able to get a little more Bobby in it. There were some crunching noises and stuff, but I got more Bobby in, which was what was important at that moment. So I got up and I started walking away and then, oh, that's when I tripped. I tripped and the box tripped too and it kind of fell out. Bobby did. Fell out of the box. And um, I said, darn it, or something like that. And I looked to see what did I trip over and oh, it was Bobby's sneakers. I always love Bobby's sneakers. And so, oh, now they could be mine. I don't know why I never even thought of it on that day that Bobby and I had the argument. I just left him with his sneakers. And so I took them this time and I took my shoes off and I put his on. And it was very interesting because his shoes fit me better than they used to. His feet were bigger than mine, but there seemed to be something in the toe. So it fit a lot better. <laughs> it made me happy because I wore his shoes all the way to the cemetery. After I put as much of him back in the box as I could. I really got almost all of him because I don't want pieces of Bobby scattered around. I mean, there are woods and there's animals in the woods and, well, I don't need people finding out where Bobby was. So, I brought him all the way back to the cemetery, walking in Bobby's shoes. And when I got there, I dug the hole where the Robert was, and I put as much of Bobby in as I could. And I dug a little more, and put a little more Bobby in, and dug a little more, and put a little more Bobby in. And then I put all the dirt back, and I took a, the circle of grass that I had cut out, and I set it back in place so nobody would know. And I stomped a whole bunch on it. So then Bobby had his stone. Which made me... I did start thinking about Bobby then. I do wish it good to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not funny. It's only funny to me. Do you remember that? Larissa, sometimes stuff is only funny to you. 
And it's not funny to other people. That's an other people lesson. That's not a Larissa lesson. That's, that's what I'm supposed to say to myself. Larissa, not everything is funny to other people. Sometimes it's only funny to you. Only funny to me. Only funny to me. <laughs> anyway, so then I... So I did sit there for a little while, and I held on to my shoes, <laughs> and I still have them, which is a good thing, because I like them so much. And I, I was wearing them to bed sometimes, but that didn't work out very well, because, well, flies seem to like them almost as much as me. And that... Good one. I hope you were eating your spiders. <sighs> the flies, yes. The flies like them almost as much as I did. So that's my other lesson for today is if you love something but it collects flies, you should just keep it in the shed. So that's where I keep Bobby's shoes in the shed. And I was going to show them to you today, but I left them over there in the paper bag. So I'll have to show them to you next time, because I don't want to get down. So, <laughs> Bobby shoes. So, they're over there, and I'll show them to you next time. down. No. Not now. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was one of my study, I mean, interviewees. <laughs> so, there you have it. Another Rissa story done. <laughs>